Hey everybody, Patton here. Welcome back to Let's Play God on the SNES Classic. So, last we left off, we unlocked our chakra by touching that glowing weird stone, and we ended up fighting that bat that we fought 10 years ago as a kid. So, I don't know what the bat has to do with anything. Maybe he's just a recurring character, but now we have chakra powers. I don't know what that is yet. We're gonna find out real soon. Oh, I thought he had the first attack. Ah! Oh, not soon enough, apparently. Never mind. We're not going to find out that soon. So I guess we got to climb back down the mountain. Which should be quicker than going up the mountain. We still can't kill these freaking wolves with more than two attacks. That's okay. Take him out with three. We're faster than him, at least. So that's good. Got We got a lot of power drinks. That's really good. We need those now at the, the beginning of the game, I'm sure. Okay, see, could we could just drop down, dumb tulip. Minor inconvenience. At least we got to see its smiling face. As we hacked it to death with our sword, jump down and go this way. See, it's a much shorter trek out off the mountain than it was to get up there. Only 15 random encounters instead of the usual 5,000. Okay, take him out. Thank you. Ooh, critical attack. Goodbye, lizard. Gold and experience for everyone. Well, I guess just Jens, and that's the only one I have right now. All right, let's get off this mountain, get back to the base, find out what this chakra deal is, because that's... Ugh. Oh, we haven't gotten to a fight out here. Oh, more tulips out. Hey, yeah, you can see that um, when we get back to the map, I'll show you real quick. Oh, smiling audaciously again. Nice background. I like the forest background in this game. That's cool. So you can see right underneath the mountain there. There. Apparently a town was there. And that other one over there, apparently that was a town too, I'm assuming. That was probably where our mom lived because we had to go north to get to where we were going. Oh, now what? What? Was, oh no, what happened? Oh crap. He's not alive. The aliens came out of nowhere. The pain is almost too much. Well, okay, bye buddy. Professor. Uh, okay, we can do this too. We're in big trouble, do you need to rest too? <laughs> if it's not too much trouble as the night goes by, okay. It didn't ask me to overwrite before when I was on the mountain. Was that a different kind of save? I don't know anyway. Wow, there's a lot of people here. My shop doesn't have much to offer. Would you like something? What? That's what you sold me before. What's different now that you're in bed? My captain was killed? Oh. My athlete's foot still itches. <laughs> okay. Damn it. Oh god. Those f***ing aliens came out of nowhere. It was a sneak attack. Cowards. That dude's got a mouth. I wasn't expecting this. I have a feeling the translation wasn't quite that graphic. Oh, and hey. Alright. Well, we can't really go down. So I guess we gotta go this way. Warning escape duct. Preparations are underway. Please wait. Okay, we can't go that way. Oh, I forgot this. Oh, Professor, no! What's by your hand? Jin, is that you, Jin? I'm afraid that I can't hold on for much longer. I know a few of your earlier memories have started to return to you from within your dreams. But I still have so much more to tell you. Let me speak before it's too late. Ten years ago, we found you wandering around Sukubani Mountain with no idea of who you were or what had happened. After running some tests, I determined you could eventually become an ideal candidate for the alien attack team. The test revealed that a mysterious unknown power lies dormant inside your brain. I held you back, however, as I was not sure exactly what would happen if you were to awaken this entity ability. I made sure to write everything in my notes, so if there's anything you don't understand, you should read them to get more insight. I got Okay, we got cross its notes. Jen, you need to find a way to reach the blessed base in Neo Kobe. I believe it is there that you will find another with the same mysterious abilities you possess. Hurry, Jen. Leave all you still can. Don't be afraid to use the powers that rest inside of you to defeat the aliens and save the human race from annihilation. 
I remember that when we first found you, you spent several weeks in a daze. You would constantly mutter something like, Where did we come from? What does it all mean? If you can defeat the aliens, I believe you will find the answers to those questions. Use the escape duct. West. Go west. Now hurry, Jin. Man. Oh, that's sad. Oh, let's read these notes as we listen to this sad music. Jen, if you're reading this, then it would be safe to assume I didn't live long enough to see the aliens defeated. There are many things I want to share with you, so please read my enclosed notes closely and carefully. The words... Oh, okay, that was that. About Psycho. Incidentally, about 30% of a human being's brain is unused at any given time. This 30% of the brain stores a special ability we've named Psycho. If this 30% portion of the resting brain is trained, then Psycho power will increase. Jin's brain has a high affinity for Psycho power. If he grows in battle and trains that 30%, he will reach the point of being able to use various Psycho abilities. Also, somewhere in the world, there should be others who possess the same Psycho powers. Jin will undoubtedly meet them in the future. Chakras! Chakras are a mysterious energy of which there are said to be seven categories, sleeping within the bodies of human beings. Psycho power uses 30% of a person's resting brain, but it seems chakra power lurks in the brain's active 70%. Seven categories of chakras. You have Ki, which is the chakra of energy, mind, chakra of wisdom, heal, chakra of recovery, spirit, Chakra of the soul, sun, chakra of nature, joy, chakra of happiness, power, chakra of the body. Mastering all seven chakras will most certainly allow you to exhibit a tremendous number of special talents. In order to gain the abilities of a chakra, you must first make contact with objects known as godstones that are suspected to exist all around the world. About chakras and godstones. Who created the godstones and what purpose they serve is still unknown. Exactly how many godstones there are in the world is also a mystery. I thought I said there were seven. Did I read that wrong? I theorize that when one touches a godstone, another 10% of the brain's 70% active capacity will awaken to the potential for further chakra power. This awakening will be hereafter known as opening the chakra. Jen, since you were enveloped by a dazzling light when you touched the godstone on Sukhabani Mountain, you opened up chakra level 1. However, merely opening the chakra does not mean you can use special abilities. In order to use a chakra properly, it is necessary to accumulate cosmo stones in the opened chakra. Build up cosmo stones to the point at which you can use your chakra ability for the first time. Now let me explain to you about cosmo stones. Oh, hope you're sitting down. Cosmo stones are a mysterious, or excuse me, are mysterious materials obtained by defeating aliens and monsters. By slowly accumulating these stones, you can reach the level at which you will be able to use a chakra command, sort of special ability. In other words, when you touch a god stone, the chakra awakens and gains the capacity to reach chakra level one. But without building up cosmo stones, you cannot use any chakra abilities. This beginning state is something referred to as chakra command level zero. It's important to note that there is a definite distinction between chakra level and chakra command level. Supposing someone touches a second god stone, he would gain chakra level 2. However, if no cosmo stones have been accumulated, he will be unable to use any chakra commands. Without any cosmo stones, his chakra command level will forever remain at zero. Number of cosmo stones needed to raise your chakra command level is displayed in the upper right corner of the chakra screen. For example, something like this, level 0, 0 out of 30. In this case, if 30 Cosmo Stones are saved up, you'll reach the point at which the chakra can be used. In other words, chakra commands will be obtained. I'll explain all of this greater in the chakra tutorial. Additionally, I should add that the reason aliens drop Cosmo Stones and the correlation they have to chakras are still under investigation. I believe there is a mystery of great importance to be uncovered here. Oh. I don't know if I want to get this chakra tutorial. Okay. All right, storing. I elaborated on touching the Godstone Awakening chakra level one, and I told you that if Cosmo Stones aren't built up, you stay at that chakra level zero. Now then, explain how to co accumulate Cosmo Stones. So easy, even a grade school student could do it. Push the X button, open the menu screen, 
two chakras as a test. How about you show me? Please press the A button in the menu to choose chakras. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, actual tutorial. Chakras. You did it. After you have chosen chakras on the next screen, it will read do what? So I want you to choose accumulate. Yes. When you select accumulate, you can choose in which chakra to store stones on the next screen. In other words, before you acquire cosmos stones, you can choose in which of the seven chakras they accumulate. This is the screen for making such choices. Okay. Cosmos stones will go there. This is a chakra screen and we have 10 cosmos stones to use for this explanation. Let's determine in which chakra we will let these cosmos stones accumulate. You are free to choose any of the seven chakras, but remember which chakra accumulates power determines what chakra commands will be learned. Now then, I should like for you to move the Cosmo Stones cursor with the D-pad and make selection with the A button. Okay, so with the Mind node, we can analyze... No. Key node, we can use Joe Key. Analyze with the Mind node. I might pick that one. Radiant Wind with the Heal. Spirit No is Telepathy A. Well, that could be useful too. Sand Metamo with the Sun Node. Big Big with the Joy Node. And Pummel Strike with Power Node. What's the cheapest one? Mostly 40. Mm, let's see here then. Uh, oh, Analyze is like one of the most expensive. Which one are we going to pick? You know, we'll just go for Power. We'll, we'll do Power. You did it. Now you've... Made it so the Cosmo Stones you acquire from here on will be stored in the Power Chakra. Let's return to the screen once more and take note of the value in the upper right corner. 10 of 40. Okay. Number 2, the upper right should have changed from 0 to 10. That means you've collected 10 of 100 maximum necessary stones. The number varies according to Chakra. Furthermore, you can adjust where Cosmo Stones are accumulated at any time except during battle. Well, so what happens when you get 100 stones? To find out more, you'll want to read my notes on equipping. Oh, more notes. Equipping. When you save the appropriate number of Cosmo Stones in the Chakra, it at least reaches Chakra Command Level 1. Next, we will show automatically the Cosmo Stones quickly gathering in the Key Chakra until the Chakra Command Joe Key is obtained. Go ahead and press the button until you reach the Chakra screen. Then, please keep an eye on the number in the upper right corner. Okay, Chakras accumulate. Joe Key. Oh, now it went up to 50. Now, Chakra Command Joe Key has been acquired. Also, Joe Key 5 indicates the magic points consumption of 5. However, it is still too early to celebrate to use the acquired Chakra Command. The Key Chakra must first be equipped. When you look at the Chakra menu, the Darkened Equip should now have become accessible. Let's go ahead and try equipping the Key Chakra. Chakra, Equip, Key. Jen, you're a genius now during battle. You are able to use Chakra Command Joe Key. Incidentally, I wonder if you noticed the level 10 in the upper right corner become level 1. Or excuse me, level 0 became level 1. This shows that Chakra Command level 0 grew to Chakra Command level 1. I should mention, only one of the 7 Chakra categories may be equipped at one time. Well, now let's try building up Cosmos Stones in the Mind Chakra. Don't pick the wrong one. So we won't mind. Okay. Oops. Oh, I can't stand what a fast learner you are, Jin. Having done this, even though you've equipped the key chakra to use the command Joe key, you can now accumulate Cosmo Tones for a new separate chakra. Well, amazing, isn't it? Ha ha ha. I am really something, aren't I? Jin, take care not to needlessly exceed the number of Cosmo Stones required. Look at the following. 110 out of 50. When the next God Stone is touched, the chakra level goes up like this. Okay, the 60 Cosmo Stones collected that were in excess were sent to the next level since two God Stones were touched. Chakra level 2 was reached, but since it's still 40 stones short, command is still level 1. I wonder what state you're in reading all of this. Now do you comprehend the fantastic power sleeping within you? Oh, thank you. Map. What is this? Map. Okay. If you'd like to view the map, exit your present location and press the Y button. Be sure to refer to it if you ever get lost. If you come to a place that is not already on the map, it should become marked after your, your arrival. Be careful out there. Symbol. Okay, green is current location. Blue is a city or town marker. And brown are the dungeon markers. Okay. Chakra. Accumulate. On me. So let's pick... Key. I didn't pick key. I picked power. Okay, I guess we're collecting for key, even though I said power. All right, so everybody's dead. You're dead? Yeah, you're dead. All right, so now 
let's go check out this tunnel. Wait, Jen. What? Who? Professor. Oh, what? You were dead, dude. Please read my notes before going out and fighting. Oh, okay. I was actually thinking to myself, what if you never read those notes? How would you know about all that? Jump in there. Oh. Uh-oh. Thrown into the air, apparently. Okay. Hey! Alright, so the Y button. Okay, we're in Japan. We have two towns to the north and a dungeon. Apparently. Maybe. Okay. We got this. Alright, so this is... Okay. Alright, so we need to go up. Actually, he said go west. So we're gonna go west. Let's see what we have. What? Um, Smiley. Smileys are super weak. Bounced like a bunny and then wandered away. We got a Cosmo Stone. Okay, so even regular enemies give you Cosmo Stones. I didn't know that. Because we got 10 from the bat. I thought it was like a boss thing. But we got some from regular enemies. It says go west. Should I still keep going west? Oh, for a few of them. Alright, so let's try this real quick. Psycho. Thunder. Oop. Oh, what happened? To one enemy. So, okay, it specifies we can only use it on one. Alright, so here we go. Take Wow. 130, man. Ooh, they're kind of tough too, though. That's okay. Looks at me with curiosity. Okay. I don't have much to say about that. Monster attack. Oh, a critical. We're down to 30. Seven hit points. We're getting some criticals too, though. Man. All right, what do we got? Three Cosmo Stones. Leveled up. Reached level seven. Okay, some stuff happened. Ooh. Sci-Fa Psycho. Sci-Fa? Sifa? Sifa? I don't know. Maybe that. Maybe that's some translation thing I'm not understanding. What is it? Will it tell me? Fire damage! Okay. So where's our chakra at? 14 or 40. Oh, I, I don't know why I thought it was 20. Alright, so can we go up? No, we can't. Cross that bridge. Yeah. Oh, there's a town. Hey, I want to go see the town. Oh, you smileys, I swear. I just want to go see the town. Yeah, take that. Curious orb. So, okay, you can accumulate the, the chakra, because that was very long-winded explanation for what seems like a pretty easy system. Like, just say that, you know, you have chakra levels that will level up by collecting these stones. Don't collect more stones than you have levels, or whatever, you know, something like that. Maybe it was necessary, I don't know, I could be wrong. Bounced like a bunny and wandered away. That's fun. All right, I just want to get to that... I just want to get to that town. Let's travel up. This is a very traditional style RPG with all these fun battles. All right, we made it to the town. You guys gonna tell me where am I? Oh, halt! This is the entrance to Maya Town, Mia Town, Mia Town. I don't know. Hmm, I don't know. This fellow looks awfully suspicious. Camera died. Sorry. So, just what kind of person are Mia? Move out of my way. You're the strange ones. What kind of person? Yeah, I would say that. Something's off with this one. He may be an alien. No doubt. Come with us. You're under arrest. I didn't even do anything. Just question what you were talking about. There's. Actually, you guys are weird. How this is a very happy town for being, you know. Ah, oh, and now we're in jail. Seems like a good place to end this one. So, all right, now we're in jail. We found some city named Mia, and they're speaking all weird. I don't know. Anyway, so whatever. We're we're all set here. Um, thank you all again so much for watching. See you on the next episode. Hey guys, if you want to contact me outside of YouTube, feel free to use any of these social media platforms. Also, while you're here, why don't you check out some of the other videos that I put out, and if you feel like it, subscribe to the channel.